plot. It's a plot question for you that, but what do you guys want out of this season? I'm sorry. Did what do you guys want out of this season at this point? Um, like I said, at the beginning of the season, uh, you know, we're looking for, uh, for a postseason this year. Um, we're not really looking for anything else. We're not selling ourselves short. Uh, I know there's a talented group in that room. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm not giving up on any of the guys. They're not giving up on me. And that's what it is. Forgive me, I think an equally blunt question, but you, you've talked a lot about leadership and, and wanting to be the guy that's, that's sort of sending the message, both with your actions and your words. I know you try to keep stuff set in the locker room, in the locker room, but as much as you're willing to share, what do you say right now to these guys as the senior, as the guy that wants to be that lead? Um, a little bit just what I just said, um, you know, uh, I, I was back, I was at mine and so forth down the line. We have each other's back. We need to show that um, we just can't keep taking punches. We can't just keep laying down whenever we do get punched. We have to come, we have to be able to fight. Um, I just keep telling the guys that uh, whenever you hit, you can't just give up. You know, you gotta, if one guy's fighting, all five of us are fighting, and that needs to be the way it's going from here on out. Your thoughts or explanations, you guys um, missed your first 10 shots, fell behind 17-0. It's now three out of four games you failed to score 60. What what seems to be the issue with the offense? Yeah. Um, I feel like there's no issue with the offense. I just feel like we just got to come out better with better enthusiasm and let our defense start us off instead of just worrying about the offense side. Let our defense start it up for us. Go ahead. You guys have had slow starts. Each of you guys, you've had slow starts all season, but tonight, kind of with your backs against the wall, you come out and they go up 17 nothing. I mean, any explanation as to why maybe the, the slow starts have been a, a reoccurring thing? Um, it's, it's just we have to be able to fight. You know, um, I don't think any guy wants to start off slow. I don't think any guy is not ready. It's just a matter of people getting inside their own heads, and I think that's where the camaraderie amongst the five on the court needs to kick in. And even if they're missing shots, that can't, we can't let that affect our teammates' um, effort and energy. Those are two things you just can't teach. That's just something you always have to have. I think we're going to be on those more so than just letting people make shots. How difficult was it to run your offense with no shot clock in the first half? Uh, I mean, it didn't really affect us. Uh, I think we just... Once a couple of shots didn't go in, I think everybody was just like, dang, uh, the shot's not falling. And then they kind of just like slough back on defense. And I think we just can't have that. And um, that's just some, again, like I said, that's just energy and effort. Uh, John, Archie said on Post Game Radio, this is, quote, embarrassing in his words. Uh, how would you phrase it as a player who went through it? I would say it's embarrassing. Um, you know, I don't, in my mind, I don't think any team is 23 points better than us. I think we have a lot more fight in us than that. I think there's a lot of talent in the room. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm angry about it. Um, I know every guy in that room is. I saw looks on their faces. I know how to read the room. Nobody's happy about that. Everybody's embarrassed. That's, it's just not us. But you have to, I guess you have to swallow the pill with a grain of salt. You know, you just have to be ready uh, to move forward and get better from it. Um, I don't think we did really anything great in that game. Um, as we let them get to the spots, we let them make their shots, we didn't make them uncomfortable. But again, I think um, I think we need to come out as an angrier group from the get-go and just let our, di our uh, defense dictate our offense. Go ahead, Dustin. I wanted to go back to what you said. Did you say you feel like you've got to come out as an angrier group? Is yeah, just, you know, coming out on fire and not really um, coming out soft, just, you know, just being ready to go, ready to throw the first punch to always taking the first punch and then try to fall back from those. Well, how much fatigue are you doing with personal? I mean, it definitely seems like, obviously, you still got a double-double out of tonight, but it seems like this year, this year started to wear on you a little bit. Do you feel that this week is getting harder to control um, all this? I mean, basketball's our game. I'm, I'll never, ever uh, give up on my brothers out there. Uh, I'll give everything I have until I drop. Uh, that's just who I am. And I feel it'll do the same thing for me. And I just have to, I know some guys are different than others as far as uh, how to talk to them and how to get, 
get it through their heads. And that's just something that we, that we that's just to figure out. And I, I have to pull that out of everybody. Obviously, it seems like teams are maybe kind of defending you guys a bit more differently now, packing guys in the paint, allowing some more spacing on the outside, and for you guys to have some open jump shots. Just, I mean, when you're not making those open jump shots from the outside from three point range, how much more difficult does it make it for the offense to get into a rhythm and get into a flow during your game? Um, I feel like we should be able to, I mean, it doesn't make it difficult. It's just like something we work on in practice. So I feel like we're putting the reps in, and I feel like these guys are going to knock them down sooner or later. All right, guys, thanks.